Hi friends and welcome to the channel! Back in November 2021, right after SageMaker Canvas launched, I did a short video to give you a first look on it. Link above if you're interested. The video did pretty well on the channel, and I think more and more folks are starting to use it. Canvas, of course, lets you do machine learning without having to write code or have any particular expertise in ML or data science. Well, there's been a very recent change with how billing works for Canvas, and I wanted to give you a heads up in case you're using it. So the other day, I was just minding my business, going about my day, when I got a notification from AWS that I had exceeded my monthly budget. I have an account that I use to do training and videos like this, and I set an alert to notify me if I go above $20 a month, so pretty small account. I hadn't even logged into the account for probably four days, so was really surprised to see this notification. So I came into Cost Explorer here, dug around a little bit, and I could see these charges were coming from SageMaker, and filtering by usage type, the culprit was this, session hours for Canvas in US East 2. Well, I hadn't used Canvas in months, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I went and looked through everything that I had related to Canvas. I couldn't find anything that could possibly be running and costing me money other than an old data set, so I went and deleted that, but the charges continued. So I opened up a support case to have them look into it. I changed my password, all the things that you do when you start worrying that your account's been hacked. Well, long story short, yesterday, I got this email from AWS saying all customers using Canvas will see session charges in their bill starting April 2022. The session charges are based on number of hours for which Canvas is used or logged into. There's more information here, but basically my charges are coming from the fact that I've been logged into Canvas for months, even though I haven't actively been using it. And to avoid these charges, you need to log out. So if you're having similar issues, let me show you how to fix this. Back here in the console, navigate to SageMaker. I'm in US East 2 here, Ohio, and based on Cost Explorer, I knew that's where the charges were coming from. So whatever region your charges are in, you want to toggle there. But here in SageMaker, I had actually previously deleted my entire SageMaker domain to try to fix this problem. That did eventually stop the charges, by the way. But in order to do this video, I went and created a new domain, and I do have a Canvas app running right now. So assuming that's the case for you as well, that you have a Canvas app up and running, come into Control Panel. And if you look under Apps here and Canvas, it might seem like you don't have anything running or no way to launch into it. But if you come here to Launch App and Canvas, that'll take you to the Canvas app. And then if you are actively running models and have data sets and whatnot, you can have charges from that. But if you have nothing going on and you are still logged in, that can now incur charges. So the magic step here is to go log out, come down to account, and then log out. And you do get this message here saying that logging out shuts down SageMaker Canvas and stops session hour billing. It will take a few minutes to start up the next session and you will get charged for that but this should stop the charges just for being logged in. So I'll log out, and now I should be good to go. So that was it. Hopefully this helps somebody out there if you're having those mystery charges show up on your bill for SageMaker or Canvas. If you found it helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button, and also think about subscribing for other content like this. Thanks so much for watching.